So today we're going to talk about drill procedure, distal revascularization, and interval ligation. So this is your AV fistula, this is the vein side, this is the artery side, this is your anastomosis. So this patient is having steel after you performed an AV fistula. So what you're going to do for the patient is a drill procedure. So what that entails is that there is a ligation component. So you basically ligate the artery distal to your anastomosis. So what it does is that there is no backflow of blood now. The other thing you now do is that the blood has to go to the arm and the hand. So there is a bypass craft that is called the revascularization pathway using PTFE or any other graft that you can use. So that would be the distal revascularization. So now what we have is the blood goes from the upper extremity to the hand through this pathway. The other component of the blood flows to the fistula, this pathway, and then there is no backflow. By doing drill, we reduce the blood flow to the fistula by 25%. Now the other options to remember is ligation of the fistula. You basically ligate the fistula. You do it if right away in the PACU the patient is having steel syndrome. The other one is you can do a banding of the fistula where you band the fistula and it increases the resistant pathway and reduces the blood flow through the fistula.